Hello and welcome to my channel. Um, now today I'm going to be doing a similar tutorial to my previous one um, of funny commands to do on a Mac, but this time I'm going to do it with Windows. And more specifically, it's going to be batch files, so ones which you can double click on and it will run. So not just ones which you do in CMD. So um, I've got a resource. Um, I've got a resources uh, sheet um, which I'm going to put in the description. So at the moment I'm using a virtual machine for Windows, which is why you can see that this is um, not exactly a, wi a Windows application. But I'm going to uh, describe to you what they all do and how to make a, a really cool custom batch file. So um, my best one I've done so far is a fake virus scan. So it will say scanning for viruses and so yes, yeah, so stuff like that. Um, so firstly, I'm going to show you a nice simple one, which might, uh, which you'll probably be able to do quite quickly. So, we, scan. We will now perform a scan of your system. Scanning. Virus found. Activate antivirus on desktop to remove now, and it's made an antivirus thing. And, and it will close when you press any key. So this antivirus thing will say, this must be activated before use because, um, yeah, I mean, making a batch file inside a batch file isn't the easiest of things, but I've got a, uh, a, a guide on how to do that in this sheet. So anyway, I'm going to be explaining what they all do and, yeah, what, they're, what they can be used for. Um, so uh, I'll start off with at echo off. Now, Echo, if you without this, it's going to look a bit strange when you want a command. This is what it should look like. So this is with echo off. So if I just show you inside it, it's got at echo off, echo high, and then just pause. I'll explain about that later. So this, it will say hi. But without the at echo off at the top, so just that, then it's going to look like this. And and it's kind of hard to see what you're trying to show so that it's not very good without it. So always put that at the start of it if you're going to be doing anything pretty much if you want to hide what the commands are, which obviously you would if you're doing a fake virus scan. <laughs> okay, um, so now I will explain, I, actually I've, it's not in order right now, but I'll explain um, echo, uh, the, what the echo does and what that pause thing does at the end. So anyway, it's really simple. Literally, if you want it to show any text, you just type echo and then the text. So if I just change this to echo test for video, and then I save that. When I run that, it will say test for video. And that's pretty much what the echo is. So it will just say whatever you make it say after you type echo. So then I'll come to this pause null exit thing. So this is the same as the high one. So echo high, or oh, I, I should probably put at echo off at the start actually, because otherwise it will look a bit strange. <laughs> but so it is, oh yeah, no, I forgot to remove it. But anyway, so I'll remove the, um, I'll remove that. So it's just, so it's gonna do echo off and echo high. So without that pause, it's just gonna, it's not. It's just going to launch and then instantly exit straight away. And because it's not, because it's running a task which, li which literally only takes a second to run, like Echo high, um, high, it's just going to finish instantly and it's automatically going to close. So this, that's where this comes in. It just stops it from closing until you press any key, which is very useful because. Yeah, if you um, unless you want it to close automatically, but if it's just a nice and short one, it's gonna just look a bit strange if you don't have that. So um, now I can kind of get into the other stuff. So um, here we have color. Now this um, is quite simple to use. I at the bottom I've got a list of codes. So if I type in, for example, what should I do? Uh, if I do six. I type color, so C L C O L O R. So uh, if you're English, it's it's not the correct spelling. So color six, and then it will turn all of the text that, which is kind of why on the simple one, 
it was flashing at the end so you could just see it was going uh color c which is red green red green um so that's basically what color is so i've got a list of all of the colors down here so you can just do whatever you want so i think the the most commonly used one is color c for red and possibly color a for green so that's what color does so next we come up to this one now you may think it's pinging a website or stuff but really all it's doing is waiting because if you're pinging zero point an unexistent ip and dash n stands for timeout and you and it's a null so it's not really doing anything so basically it's just going to be for five seconds and i'm I think it's slightly less than five seconds. Uh, it's not actually seconds, but it's quite close to seconds. So it's, it's easy enough to work out. So if I, for instance, I'll just use this one for now. Uh, I did echo high, then I'll just copy that. So I'll put that in and then, so every new line is a new command. And then I type in echo test and then maybe color C and then echo this should be red and then I'll do the pause at the end because otherwise it will just go away instantly so oh, I pressed windows key there we go so sorry I'm pressing really weird key combinations right now and right so it'll say hi wait a bit as it might be seconds, test, this should be red. So it looks like that works. Um, so then we come up to this thing. Now, this is what was at the start of this, this message box there. So um, this basically is quite simple to use. So I'll just add this up uh, onto this. This can just be our test one. So if I do at the start, I'll show you where you replace the text. So where it says we will now perform a scan of your system, that's the message. So if I do, um, if I just select that message for the video, and then I and then this this thing where it says scan is the title. So then I could do um, tutorial. So then at the start, it will. So this, it, so it won't run anything after it until you click OK. So it's gonna, it's not gonna run any of the stuff um, from that un until you say close it or say OK. So it's gonna say hi, and then uh, uh, test. This should be read. So then we come up with this. Now all this does is just plays uh, the like the um, not log on sound, but it's like. The sound, like not the error sound, but it's like when you try and press a space bar when there's the cursor isn't selected and stuff like that's like when it goes boop boop when when you haven't selected anything to type in or something like that. So if I oh no, I don't want to print it. I haven't even set up a print yet. <laughs> so um, if I put this in here and then I save that, there we go. All right, I think I was bringing up the snapshots there. <laughs> so I can do this. Right, so I'm going to stand right next to my speakers as I do this. So it's kind of that sound. Um, I guess it's when you save a setting or something. But uh, also, it does leave a line for some reason. I don't actually know why. But it leaves, I think it's because it's echoing something, but it's hiding that. So anyway, then we come up to how I made that antivirus thing. So this is quite a long one. So I made this one myself, actually. Most of them I got from online, but this one I um, did it myself. So it's really easy to use this one because I don't really know much about it. So it, this is where, so you seed it into the directory where you want to create it. Don't change the dot .bat, but change the name. So say I wanted this to be, I know, I'll... I'll copy this. I might have already done it, but I'll just make sure. And I'll change it to something else. So if I put this in here, right, so I'm going to change this thing which says antivirus to, uh, I'll change it to uh, test one, um, maybe. 
and then in here is the uh, code which it will run when you click on it. Now this is important for the code. If there's ever, um, I can't quite remember what it is. If you just, uh, I think you could probably just Google it. Um, but it so create so Google creating batch creating a batch file within a batch file. Um, some uh, like kind of parentheses, I, I don't really know what they are, but um, things like a, a, a right, a, a closing bracket has to have this arrow in front of it um, in order to kind of, I think it's just the way it works to make sure that I, I, I don't really know much, but it's, uh, yeah, so this is just, this is just to stop it from getting confused between if it's closing this, the whole command or is it just part of the command. So that's uh, that's uh, that's where you probably put an arrow before it. Um, then we come up to tree. Now I haven't actually demonstrated that one yet, and that's because it wasn't in my simple one. So I'll give you a quick demonstration of. So it will now make that test one. Oh no, I forgot to say. In order for it to create a file, you have to run it as an administrator. So tutorial message for the video. Hi. This should test, this should be read, and then it's done test one, and then that must be activated before use. Anyway, so I've made a more advanced one. Um, so here it is. So this has got tree. I'll tell you when tree comes in. You want to perform a scan of your system. No antivirus sound installing. Install trial, and that will do the same thing. Trial needs to be activated. Scanning for viruses. None found. Scanning for malware. It's playing lots of blues as it does this. Possible malware found removing. Now this is the tree command. So Coupe found that's a Trojan if you don't know. I just find my tree. So um, I'll better explain to you now um, that the tree, um, it literally lists every single file. So um, you don't really want to be in the C directory when you're doing it because it's literally going to take forever. So what I did was I went into system 32 um, in order to do that and then it didn't take that long or you could just go into see the uh, windows so that would take a bit longer but just if you do the slash directory you're going to be waiting forever for it to finish so it basically just shows all of the uh, files in a tree map um, and I think that's pretty much it yeah that's those are all of the commands which I've used to make that advanced one and stuff um, but yeah so this is the tutorial um, so I hope you have a nice time kind of playing around with them, see what funny creations you can make. So I will leave the resources in the description. And yeah, that's the video. Um hope you've enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe for more. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.